Wow. 1,000, that's right, 1,000 likes in less than 24 hours. I gotta give it to you. I was not expecting us to get anywhere near that, but here we are. If you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, I uploaded a Rocket Dragon Link live duel showing off how powerful the deck is, and uh, yeah, you guys destroyed that like button. Let's hope that you destroy the like button on every single one of these videos so I can keep making content. So while we're here, I bet you're wondering exactly where are you in my house? You're in my Yu-Gi-Oh closet where I keep uh, some of the deepest, darkest secrets. There are so many bulk cards in here. Yeah, it makes the other part of my, you know, the thing that you can visibly see a little jealous. I probably should eventually go through these cards as there are some really expensive cards in here, but I want you to actually <laughs> come out of the closet so I can show you this Rocket Dragon Link deck profile. The Rocket Dragon Link is a deck of numbers. You would think that it wouldn't take rocket scientists to make a good Dragon Link deck, but it kind of does. This huge combo base deck is built on making boards and breaking boards. So let's jump on in so I can tell you what exactly I run and why I run it. The Rocket Monsters consists of three copies of Rocket Tracer. This is the reason why it's a Rocket Dragon Link deck. It's one of the more important cards because not only does it serve as an extender, um, it also allows you to special summon a Rocket Monster to your side of the field by destroying a card by locking you in the dark. It comes up really uh, a lot. <laughs> Two copies of Rocket Recharger. This is gonna be the main card that you summon off Rocket Tracer. Uh, it actually has a pretty good hand effect. You don't really use it that much, but it's one of the better Rocket Monsters. And then one copy of Silver Rocket Dragon. This could be any rocket monster that you can summon off a tracer i personally run silver rocket because it has 1900 attack even though that really never comes up and then the two rocket extenders which is ops or router dragon there were a point in time where i was running more rocket monsters and you can justify that because rocket tracer or any rocket monster plus ops or router dragon is full combo so like there's so many ways for this strategy to get full combo i'll be able to show you in the video or in the later portions of this video and yes this is the 60 card route i don't know if i said that before but again more same consistency less bricks uh -huh. three copies of star leech safer this is one card full combo it allows you to search um your white and black dragon and then for the other normal summonables i still only run like six cards that i genuinely want a normal summon in a 60 card deck which is weird but three copies of black metal dragon complemented by the red eyes darkness metal and a card you can drop in Red-Eyes Wyvern. This card isn't like mandatory. You can drop this in an Ash Blossom for two Nibiru. Um, I, was talk I was thinking about it, but I love free cards and Black Metal Dragon will get you your Red-Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, which is a free special summon and a free Red-Eyes card. Now I was gonna play Red-Eyes Insight, but I actually like my normal summon, so that obviously wasn't a thing. And then from there, we run three copies of Noctivision Dragon. This in my humble opinion, is the best extender because the deck is compromised of so many dragon monsters. Almost every single one of your dragon monsters are dark, and if they aren't, they're under level four, which means you can special summon a dark dragon to trigger knock the vision's effect, and it allows you to chain block. For our Chaos Dragons, one white, one black, and one Chaos Dragon Levanir. These two cards are full combo, and the Chaos Dragon Levanir is an excellent choice of disruption, allowing you to rip a card out of your opponent's hand and destroy cards for the following turn. Now, one Omni Dragon Brotar, which is our reinforcement of the army of the deck, one copy of a true brick Dragoonity Knight Dragoonity Phalanx isn't the worst card to draw. Actually, it's the worst card to draw on his deck. Of course, it's still full combo with another dragon monster, so it does not matter, but you do not want to draw this card. This is the only card in the deck that I think you don't want to draw, which is really good for us because in a 60 card deck, the odds of us drawing this is almost minuscule. One copy of Right Rose and one copy of Red Rose. These are the perfect extenders. Again, I'll show you guys in the combo. This is the prime target for Hockla Fabrix. After you resolve this for Hockla Fabrix, you don't need it anymore. And then one Red Eyes B Dragon and one Dark Magician. Now, I do play the Red Eyes Fusion route in here. Um, when I was assembling this deck, it's kind of like Mortal Kombat. It's like, choose your bricks. 
and I was heavily decided between the Vylon engine, which allows you to rip a card out of your opponent's hand with Smoke Grenade of the Thief, or the Red Eyes engine. And the reason why I chose the Red Eyes engine is because of the live duel. Um, in that particular live duel, I had to open three hand traps to stop it from him not making any disruptions whatsoever. And I like that. Your opponent's gonna have to consistently open three hand traps to be able to stop you because after they stop you the first two times, if you don't have an additional extender, to make your full Dragon Link combo, you just make Red Eyes Dragoon. Again, it's a choose your own brick type of deck and Red Eyes Fusion is the only other card that you don't wanna draw. Drawing these two cards, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not good, but it's not the end of the world. But that is it for the main board, I guess. Uh, the, I guess the engine part of the deck. I wanna talk to you guys about the hand traps uh, cause we run quite the bit of hand traps. Uh, three copies of Effect Veiler, uh, one of the best hand traps in the game. Uh, the Gamma Package, which is three copies of Psy Frame Gear Gamma, as well as the Psy Frame Gear Driver. Uh, we also run two copies of Thanos. I'm really digging these super rares, don't know why. I really like the way the super rares look. And three copies of Ash Blossom, because we had the space. I was gonna make this Nibiru if the Dragon Link, or play more players start playing uh, Dragon Link, I will drop Ash for Nibiru. I don't think Ash is a bad card, it's just not better than Nibiru if everybody's playing Dragon Link. This does nothing for them. Uh, two copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. This card's really strong in this format because it gets rid of uh, face-up cards. And three copies of Infinite Impermanence. That is a whopping, I think it's 16 hand traps in this deck. Um, and statistically, I think there was an 80% chance that I would open anywhere between one and four hand traps, which is phenomenal, especially when you're playing a deck that makes one card full combos and you have four hand traps on top of the negation board really hard for your opponent to overcome even with cards like triple tactical talents and whatnot so i don't really care what my opponent does if i have the perfect hand and you just win so uh that is it for the hand traps uh and then moving on to the spells which are pretty much extenders and important combo pieces three copies of chaos space um i ran the numbers and if you run 20 copies of the same card uh, you will have an over 80% chance of opening one through four of them, which is ridiculous. I think we run a good 20, I want to say 22 copies of full combo. So like the odds of us opening full combo one through four times is just phenomenal. It's like, it's almost guaranteed to happen. And if our opponent does, doesn't does hand trap us at the right spots, which there are no right spots, depending on our hand, then, you know, we still have full combo. Uh, two copies of Boot Sector Launch. I thought that this was great at two. Excellent follow-up, really good card to have. And when you do draw one, your Striker Dragon basically just searches a discard. Uh, two copies of Quick Launch, or three copies of Quick Launch, my apologies. This card is Bananas, it's your extender. Uh, three copies of World Legacy Guard Dragon, just another extender. Uh, basically, you guys are going to hear me say extender a lot because I'll show you in the combo how the deck gets deadly. One copy of Dragon Ravine, one copy of Divine Lance, one Monster Reborn, and one one for one. All of these are extenders. The Dragoonity Knight Divine Lance is part of the combo, as you guys can see. But that is it for the main board. Uh, moving on to the extra deck. I actually have it all the way over here. So, <laughs> so for the extra deck, there is some cards. If you are on a budget that uh, you don't necessarily have to play, cards that I want to talk to you guys about is the Preta Plant Engine. You don't necessarily have to play this. Uh, you can substitute the Dark Magician cards uh, and the Red Eyes Fusion and whatnot for Unexpected Dies and Dragon Monsters. And you can take these two out for a Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend and a Boral Sword or Boral Low Dragon. And, you know, you're pretty much budget. I mean, because I don't think there's really any more super expensive cards other than Infinite Impermanence. Uh, you guys can play Forbidden Chalice or whatever instead of that. But moving on to the extra deck, one Opelosa, one Heretic Seal, uh, one Protector. Well, this is actually the card I was talking about in my budget video. If you guys want to see a budget Rocket deck profile still good inside of this format, go ahead and check out this video. But Protector, well, uh, one copy of Dragooning Night Robinless, Hakla Fibrix. Oh, and it also doesn't run the Hakla Fibrix engine. One Striker Dragon, one LP, one Pisty, one Link Cross, one Boral Sword, one Herald. One Marshall Metal Marcher, one Predator Plant Vert, and one Red Eyes Dragoon. That is it for the main board and the extra deck. Now I can show you the spice of this deck within the combos. Okay guys, so in this part of the combo tutorial, I'm gonna show you how one card is going to equal quite a few disruptions and you are going to have two cards 
Additionally, in your hand, which is really, really crazy how good this Dragon Link uh, strategy operates, what you're going to do is normal summon your Black Metal Dragon, then use your Black Metal Dragon for a Link Summon into your Striker Dragon. The effect of Black Metal and Striker Dragon's effects will both trigger. I'll use Striker Dragon as Chain Link 1. We'll add the Boot Sector Launch and the Red Eyes Darkness Metal. From there, I'm going to banish the Striker Dragon to Special Summon Red Med to my side of the field, and then use that effect to Special Summon back to the side of the field using both of these monsters for another Link Summon into our Dragoonity Knight Romulus. And here I'm going to actually chain block the Romulus from being Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Black Metal Dragon is going to be Chain Link 2. Romulus is going to be Chain Link 1, which will allow me to add my Divine Lance and my Red Eyes Wyvern from my deck to my hand. I'll activate the Dragoonity Knight Divine Lance, which will allow me to equip the Dragoonity Phalanx, and then Phalanx will special summon itself to the side of the field using Dragoonity Knight Romulus for a Link Summon. We're gonna go ahead and make Link Cross, which will allow us to special summon two tokens to our side of the field. A token plus the Dragoonity Knight Phalanx will be used for a Synchro Summon right into your Martial Metal Marcher. Marcher will special summon back the Dragoonity Knight Phalanx to my side of the field. And then we'll use the Martial Metal and the Link Cross for a Link Summon into my Christian Hacklefibrix. Hacklefibrix effect will, Hacklefibrix, however you want to say this card's name, will special summon Red Rose Dragon. And now the token plus Red Rose Dragon will be used for a Synchro Summon into Herald of Arc Light. At this point in time, our opponent just can't hand trap us. They probably would have hand trapped us on Martial Metal Marcher's Summon, um, which is perfectly fine. If they would have Nibiru'd us, we would have had a monster. And depending on our certain extenders, we can still go Guard Dragon, LP, and Pisty. We have not invested any part of our combos other than a normal summon into this entire sequence. And this is what makes Dragon Link so powerful. But because I use Red Rose for a Synchro Summon, I'll be able to special summon White Rose to my side of the field and I'll use both White Rose and Dragoonity Knight Phalanx for Link Summons. It really depends on the particular situation, but since I don't have extenders, I'll make Striker Dragon and Guard Dragon LP. I'll use the effect of Guard Dragon LP, seeing that I have no rocket monsters in hand right now. I'll special summon an Apsa Router Dragon to my side of the field. And now LP plus Hackler Fibers can be used for a Link Summon and to protect our whelp. And right here is where you can use all four monsters for an additional Link Summon into your Apollosa Bow of the Goddess since you are no longer restricted to summoning dragon monsters. But I prefer to use Protector Whelp and Apps Around our Dragon for a Link Summon into Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spheres. Activate the effect of your Absorbator Dragon to add Rocket Tracer from your deck to your hand. And now Boot Sector can Special Summon Rocket Tracer. Rocket Tracer will destroy Boot Sector. Special Summon Silver Rocket these two monsters for a Synchro Summon into your Borlo Savage Dragon. And Savage will equip the Hacklefibrix. We can also use the effect of our Striker Dragon destroying itself to add the Rocket Tracer from our graveyard to our hand, and that is immediately going to provide us another summon, probably Better Plant for Anaconda, um, which could make our Dragoon, or if you guys are playing a more Synchro Monster, Scarlight, Red Dragon, Archfiend. But in one card combo, we actually have a really good board. We have Double Omni Negate with Borlode, Savage Dragon, Herald of Arclight. We have another Disruption with Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spheres, which will tribute itself to probably special summon the Omni Dragon Brotar, discarding our free Red Eyes Wyvern to either add a Hand Trap in Thanos from our deck to our hand, or it can add Chaos Dragon Levayanir, which, I mean, if you ask me, that's really strong that one card actually got us this much combo piece, and that we have four other cards with an 80% chance of having at least one Hand Trap. That's too strong. The next combo I want to show you is if you already have means to Rocket Tracer in your hand or maybe a uh, Quick Launch or an Absor Router Dragon, however it may be, if you already have Rocket Tracer in your hand and don't need access to this card, then your combo line does become a di different. I'm going to use Star Lead Safer this time around just because it's another way to show you whole combo. So we're going to go ahead and Safer it into a Black, Banish the Safer to Summon Black, and then Black Link off to Striker Dragon. Triggering the effect of Striker will add the Boot Sector Launch and Black will add the White. Now we're going to banish the Black to summon White to our side of the field. And then we're going to use Striker Dragon and White for a Link Summon. 
summoning Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Romulus effect will add a Dragoonity Knight Divine Lance. Lance on the Romulus, uh, Dragoonity Knight Phalanx. Phalanx to summon itself and now Romulus for a Link Summon. Summon Link Cross to your side of the field. Bring two tokens. You guys are already starting to see more normal combo piece. This can be done with any two dragons. So uh, as long as you have one dragon and an additional extender, you can do this exact same combo. So no worries. It's the reason why the deck is so consistent. So Link Cross plus the Marshall Metal Marcher for the Krishnan Hulk. And Hulk's effect to summon the Red Rose. Red Rose plus the token. Herald of Arclight trigger the effect of your Red Rose for your white rose dragon now here's where things do get a little different in the combo line we are going to link off both of those not <laughs> together we're going to link them off one by one for guard dragon lp and our striker dragon and lp this time will use its effect to special summon a different monster to the side of the field now we are going to need an additional card to rip out of our, or to discard, but Omni Dragon Brotar is going to be our card of choice. Let's say we had a quick launch. We're going to send the quick launch to target a dragon monster on our side of the field. It's going to allow us to add the Chaos Dragon Levaneer. So from here, you're faced with the exact same thing. Your Guard Dragon LP plus your Hulk can be used for a Link Summon. So next, we are going to banish three dark monsters from our graveyard. It's going to be the Red Rose the white rose and a striker dragon to rip a card out of our opponent's hand with chaos dragon levea near and now you guys have two routes depending on how you want to do it you can link off the striker dragon and the protector rope into your heretic seal and then you can link off your omni dragon brotar and your chaos dragon levea near into your preta plant vert anaconda or subsequently you could link off all four of those monsters into a four negation apollosa of the goddess it depends on how you're feeling today and lastly you're going to follow up with boot sector launch special summoning rocket tracer tracer destroying the boot sector launch special summon a rocket monster to your side of the field link off both the rocket tracer and the recharger to a borrowed savage dragon savage dragon will equip the Christon hulk and preta plant vert anaconda will activate 2,000 life points will be used to fusion summon into Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Again, this is not a mandatory piece. You could have a four disruption Apollosa on your side of the field instead, but a Heretic Seal Dragoon, a Borlode Savage, and a Herald of Arclight is a little strong. And just for reference, your Dark Magician and your Red Eyes would actually be banished due to the effect of Herald of Arclight. Not that it really mattered, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, Dragon Link deck profile. Really, really fun to do. Again, if you guys want to see a budget version of this profile, I actually have one up before the Forbidden Lens came out and it's still viable. Also, be sure to check out the Dra Dragon Link live duel and I'll be sure to post some, uh, probably some test hands on Patreon. So I'll catch you guys on the next video.